Welcome to another week's reading vlog. Even more reason to do the head bob thing because Jake is watching me and he hates it. But welcome to another week. Last week was fairly successful, therefore I had way too much footage and spent all of my evening yesterday editing, so it's actually Tuesday now. Yay, starting a vlog on Tuesday. But yeah, as I said, yesterday literally all I did all evening was edit, so didn't really have anything to tell you anyway. Today, however, progress has been made. I have read the part of A Gathering of Shadows. I don't have the book on me right now, it's in the library. But I've read the part of A Gathering of Shadows that I should have read today, which takes us, I think, to part seven, maybe. I don't know. But me and Gavin are buddy reading A Gathering of Shadows, which is book two in the Dark Shade Magic series. One of my favourite books of all time, definitely one of my favourite series of all time, by my favourite author of all time. Woo! Um, so I read that today and I've also finally started reading The Ninth House. I am really excited to be starting this. I am 32 pages in. I've just started chapter two or I'm a little bit into chapter two. I was 16 pages into this when I kind of set it down and thought, okay, I knew this was going to be dark, but within 16 pages I was kind of like, okay, this is going to be really dark. So, not that I wasn't warned, but this is going to be really dark and I'm only 32 pages in and I've already got a fair feel. Um, I can only imagine it's going to get darker the further through we go. Yeah, so far really intrigued very eager to read more. So far, so good. The writing is enjoyable so far, um, but the plot has definitely piqued my interest because this is gonna be dark. Dark is really the only word that comes to mind for this. Dark and mysterious. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I also uploaded my Paper Gang unboxing today, so yay for that. Um, and I've also actually planned a few other videos that I want to do. I don't know when I'm going to film them or whatever, but I have plans. Yay. I had a bit of a moment today um, because I lost 11 subscribers in like one hour. But I think from the analytics and from watching a lot of other people also lose a lot of subscribers today that it was YouTube having like a clear out of unactive accounts, unless you all just secretly hate me. I had a bit of a moment where I was kind of feeling very stagnant in my channel and like I've been around the same sub point for a while. Not that numbers mean anything really but like it's un unmotivating, demotivating to not see any sort of movement so I had a bit of a wild, had a bit of a wild brainstorm for video ideas that I would like to do so that I can put out more content because that's always the dream isn't it? But um, yeah, that's enough rambling for now. I am gonna read some more of this and I will probably check in with you tomorrow. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, I am now filming the first clip of the day and it is 11 o'clock at night. Um, I also so far today haven't read anything, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't plan to because of course still buddy reading this with Gavin. Currently up to page 301, so there, which is part seven. <sighs> I love this. I can't gush enough because I just love it and every time I talk about it I just repeat myself and how much I love Delilah Bard. But this book really shows Lila coming into being the badass lady that I love. So yeah. Um, Gav did say that today's section is pretty short so I'm hoping to go to bed now and read it. I think he said it was only like 30 something pages so oh yeah it literally is like 37 pages so this shouldn't take me too long to read if I go to bed now-ish. Otherwise reading wise Ninth House. Um, I have not read any more today but yesterday I got up to the end of chapter two which is only like 50 pages um so I don't really have anything else to say that I didn't say yesterday other than you know it just being really dark and surprisingly dark even though I 
knew that going into it. Um, I'm just really gutted that it's got to this point and I haven't read anything this evening. I haven't, yeah, literally haven't read anything at all today. That sort of sucks. I also haven't done like really anything that much productive. Went to the shop with Jake, been to my mum's. That's where most of my evening's gone. I went to visit my mum because this leads me into this really nicely. Someone sent me a parcel. <laughs> Um, I have already opened this, so I'm not gonna, like, pretend that I haven't. Um, so, yeah, my Amazon wish list currently still sends to my mum's address, which is fine. Gives me a reason to go and visit her when someone sends me something. Um, but this lovely gift is from Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy's note is really sweet. Just wanted to say how amazing I think your channel is and you've given me so many great book rec- uh, given me so many recommendations which has changed my reading taste so thank you for your hard work, Tracy. Tracy, I am thrilled that I have managed to give you some recommendations and potentially alter your reading tastes. If your reading tastes are now more aligned with my reading tastes then in my opinion your reading tastes have improved. Um, but honestly, thank you so much. You did absolutely not have to send me something, but I appreciate it so deeply. And Tracy sent me House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I know that this was in some sort of book box and was therefore getting a fair bit of hype. And I didn't... Ugh, like, this is clearly a US paperback. I didn't even know it was properly out in paperback until I put it on my... Amazon wishlist and it gave me the option for paperback. The tagline on this, in a manner by the sea, 12 sisters are cursed. Without reading anything else, from my understanding, there are 12 sisters, clearly, um, that live in this manner by the sea and I think it follows one of the sisters who's trying to work out what the curse is because each year one of the sisters is dying or gradually the sisters are like being killed off or dying from whatever this curse is and she wants to work out what it is maybe four of the girls lives have been cut short she becomes suspicious that her sister's deaths were not accidents oh it's a 12 dancing princesses retelling oh i love a good retelling i'm really intrigued by this it sounds like something dark and mysterious is going on with this family and these sisters and there is a curse and there's a thing here um the sisters sneak out um, to go to balls in their silky gowns and shimmering slippers. But who or what are they dancing with? Dun, dun, dun. Sounds really good. I'm really, really intrigued by this. So Tracy, thank you so much for sending it to me. As I say, you really did not have to send me anything. But I appreciate it so much. So thank you. Righty ho, I'm going to keep the little note in the book so when I read it I know that it came from the lovely Tracy. Now that I've updated you I've filled in my bullet journal still doing that aggressive bullet journaling. It's been fairly productive so far I'm into it. Um, there are other things in here I can actually update right now as well. Everything's filled in everything's done I'm gonna go to bed and read because I've got some dark magic to read literally both black and full of dark magic this one is substantially darker substantially <laughs> I haven't vlogged in a few days. It's actually Saturday evening now. I cannot remember the last time I spoke to you. Basically, I've had nothing new to tell you. I have been keeping up to date with my buddy read of A Gathering of Shadows. We've actually nearly finished this. I've had nothing new to tell you, so I haven't really vlogged. We all know I love the Dark Shadow Magic trilogy, so I don't need to just repeat what I've told you already, because everything still stands. Um, and I haven't been able to get much further with um, Ninth House either. I'm really hoping that tomorrow I can, like, diehard that. 
Um, I was planning on doing that today or filming today, but ended up visiting my mum and my nan was there and it became a whole thing. So I spent about six hours at my mum's today. And the live stream for the Sorcery of Thorns for the Read Rate Review book club over on G's channel is this evening. So we are tuning in in about half an hour to iron out any technical difficulties before we go live at 11. So all of the grand plans that I had for today have just been blown out the window. I have also done some housework. I cleaned the bathroom and did three loads of laundry. So that's all good. I've currently got some chips in the oven for me because I'm not really very hungry, but I know I'm going to get hungry. So I'm just going to snack on some chips. I've got some peri peri salt. Very excited for that. Um, but what I want to talk to you here about is the fact that I have a box. I don't know if anyone's really going to be interested in this, but I'm interested in this, so I'm going to go with it. This is a whiff box from Scentsy. I've spoken about Scentsy before on my channel. Just genuinely love the products. No sponsorship, nothing. I bought this. But Scentsy do like smellies, they do cleaning products, they do laundry products, they do like um, scented waxes and wax warmers, they do hand creams, bath bombs, all sorts of smelly things, hence whiff box. This month's box is supposedly really good, so I bought it. I haven't bought one of their boxes before. You can do a subscription thing, but I haven't. I've just done a one-off thing because apparently this month is really cool. So I'm just gonna show you what is in this month's whiff box, if you care. Ta-da! You can smell it as soon as the box opens. So there's a little sample pot of citrus pomegranate. There is then a full-sized bar. Nice to get a full size and a sample, although that's a generous sample pot. That's like a good use or two. Uh, this is Blackberry Mint. So this is the wax that goes in the warmers. None of my warmers are in this room, um, but I've got a few element warmers and you put a cube of this in the warmer and it makes the house smell good. And this is Blackberry Mint. Oh, I like that. It's not too minty. The blackberry's there, but it's also very refreshing because of the mint. Um, we then have bathroom cleaner in coconut lemongrass and I've just mentioned that I clean my bathroom so I don't need to do it again just yet but when I do I have some bathroom cleaner. I don't personally love the scent of coconut but I feel like in a cleaning product the scent of coconut is nicer than the scent of bleach so my bathroom tiles are gonna smell fabulous when I use that. Um, we then have a scent circle uh, so these are essentially cardboard circles soaked in the scent oil. This is in the World Traveller scent, which is one of the more masculine scents that they do. We then have a couple more samples of the Laundry Liquid in Shimmer. I feel like I've spoken about the Laundry Liquid before because I've recently started using the Go Go Mango from Scentsy um, Laundry Liquid and I love it. it smells amazing. Um, so you've got a couple of uses of their scent shimmer as well in the laundry liquid. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Then have a new product. These have just been released um, and these are car bar clips. I have a few of the full size like hangy car bars. So these ones have like a little ribbon and you hang them on like the wing mirror. Whereas these ones have little clips that you pop in the back so that you like clip them to the vents. Um, so they now come in a couple of varieties and the fact that I literally have this in my drawer shows you that these are products that I genuinely use. I actually have a couple of other fragrances in there as well because I always have a car bar in my car. The vanilla one is my favourite because then whenever I get in my car it just smells like I'm getting in a cupcake and who doesn't want to get in a cupcake? Um, but these are in the scent Luna. I cannot smell this through the packaging and I can't remember what Luna smells like off the top of my head. <laughs> and then the star of this show. This beast of a product. <laughs> this is the Go Go Mango Scentsy Soak. And I've literally just told you that the Go Go Mango is the scent that I've been doing all my laundry in. And the Scentsy Soak is like a bath, not a bath salt, although it is Epsom salt and Himalayan salt. So you'd think it would be like crystals. But it's like powder. I've not used it before, but my mum's had some. And it's more like a powder than a crystal. And you just sprinkle it in the bath and use it like you would a bath salt. But this is 0.91 kilograms. So you've got 900 
and 10 grams of soap here. Like, this is gonna last. This is hefty. And this is £14.50. So, should we do a little sum of how much one of this comes to? So, that's already £35.25. And that's just for the soak, the cleaner, and this. That's the value of the box. We've then additionally got a wax bar, a scent circle, and the samples here as well. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm very excited to use most of this. Mainly this, because I love the Gogo -Go Mango scent. It is currently one of my faves. Oh, and the um, they've got another scent at the minute, which is Watermelon Tangerine, the freshest thing ever. I could blend it up and put it in a smoothie quite happily. Not that I would want to drink wax, but like if it was edible I would eat it and I mean actually the wax is food grade so you could but obviously that doesn't mean you should but um yeah I just thought I'd give you a little unboxing of that I know the majority of you probably don't care too much but I'm excited and I've just packed it all back into the box how cute yeah that's that's really all I had to tell you. I'm gonna go now because my chips are probably burning um, and I'm gonna try and work out how to make sure everything goes smoothly my end with the logging into the live stream. So, I know it will have already happened by the time this goes up, but it will be over on G's channel where the Read Rate Review Club will be rating and reviewing and raving and all of those things beginning with R um, for Sorcerer of Thorns. So go check it out. If you want to. Okay, I will check in with you some other time. Hello, happy Sunday. Um, I didn't update you yesterday after the live, but the live went well and we had a nice catch up. It was nice chatting to everyone as always. Um, it's now like half four on Sunday. I have filmed my October TBR this morning, which I'm very excited for you to see when that goes up. Um, but otherwise, it's raining, I have a candle on, and I have been, oh, not throwing the book on the floor, but reading Ninth House. Um, I'm still not incredibly far into this, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, but football's on now, so I'm being dragged to go and watch football away from my cosy reading chair with my candle and the rain. I'm having such a nice time and I'm being dragged to go and watch football. Jake's now turned the volume up really loud. I should also put dinner on because I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to do all that, but really all I want to do is read. Hello, it is much later on Sunday. It's quarter past ten now and I'm just settling down to do a spot of editing in bed. Um, I filmed three videos today, um, read a bit more of Ninth House, not an incredible amount because I've spent a fair bit of time today doing filming and cooking, cleaning, you know, that business. So yeah, not as much as I would have liked, but I have filmed some of the videos that I wanted to film, so I'm at least pleased with that. Um, in terms of my week's reading, I feel like it's been... For some reason I don't feel completely unsuccessful, but I still haven't finished anything this week, so bit of a weird in-between. Um, obviously nearly finished A Gathering of Shadows. We should finish that tomorrow, um, based on the buddy read schedule. But, you know, I've told you everything I have to say about that. Um, but yeah, should finish that tomorrow, based on the schedule we have. Um, and in terms of Ninth House, you know, still loving it, it's still dark, still very mysterious, but I'm so into it, so that's great. But yeah, I'm gonna do a spot of editing, start editing this vlog. I don't reckon I'll actually finish editing anything, but my plan is to get at least a head start on some editing for the week, and then read some more of Ninth House in bed is my plan. I might update you a little bit more a bit later on, but yeah, that's the plan for right now. And it is now past midnight and I'm here to close off this vlog. I have done some editing, I have not done any reading. <laughs> 
so on brand. But I've done a bit of editing, so that's productive. I'm now going to call it a week with this. I hope you've enjoyed this week. As I just said, I don't think I've been that incredibly unproductive, even though I haven't finished a book. So weird sort of mentality, but whatever, go on with it. I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Uh, I think this week's one is a shorter one than I have been doing, so again, we'll just go with it. <laughs> I guess I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>